Well, good morning. I don't know, it's like 6.30 here at Soil to Soul Farm. My name's Brian, I'm out with my Icelandic sheep. Doing a little relationship building here. I got Abe, come here buddy. Abe, hey, peanut. These are my Icelandic sheep. They're fun little devils. Uh, I've learned that when the pasture gets nibbled down, well, these guys will actually just chill out in the yard, walk around and eat down wherever they can. What you were just seeing there is Peanut. I'm gonna have Abe come over here. I'll show you how, I, how I'm working with them. I gotta shear these guys at some point. And uh, I'd like to think that as a hairdresser, I could probably figure this out some way myself. But it's a game of trust. And I'm still building that up. Abe is over there. Hey, Abe. Hey, buddy. I got treats. See, Peanut knows this. Peanut knows the sound, don't you? Yeah, you do. So this is Peanut. She's actually the oldest of the, of the three sheep here. Her name's Peanut. And this is how she is. She loves this. But she doesn't like the scratching as much. Now, Abe over here, on the other hand... He's all, he's all about the treats, but he's also, well, he likes the scratching. I'm going to go, I'm going to grab a handful here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come on, guys. Abe, buddy, I got treats for you. So the pastures over there, they grazed that thing down super fast, and unfortunately it's real dry up here this year. Oh, of course, once again. Right, Abe, another dry year. Come here, buddy. Look at this. This guy's Abe. Well, the peanut's gonna go after that, but I'm gonna get Abe on my hand here. And I'll show you what he really likes. So after the treats, there's this. There's this and this. He really likes under the chin, don't you, buddy? Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, oh yeah. He's not that far off from a dog. You know, you can give him a little chin, chin scratching, chin, like the loving. Right, right, Abe? I don't know. Is he a sheep? He is a goat. No, he's not a goat. But he is more than just an Icelandic sheep. He's one of my little farm friends. So all of you that think it's I'm crazy or whatever, well, I still got to make friends with that girl over there because I'll well, look at her. Hey, Abe, come on up. Don't get into that. Yeah, Abe's very, he's very comfortable on camera apparently. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, they're not that far off from a dog. And then he does that. He gets a little ornery once in a while. But, you know, I think that's him just telling me, hey, dude, I'm, I'm okay with you. But uh, don't expect too much. So, peanut, hey, come on. That's it. That's it, girl. You go and graze now. You go graze. So yeah, it's a beautiful morning here. Gosh, it was windy yesterday. Very windy. Um, I actually had to think last night when I was uh, in uh, chilling, doing some thinking, organizing thoughts from yesterday's round of ideas. Uh, I might have heard a few uh, trees breaking in the background out in the, tr out in the forest. But uh, that's because... We've had a lot of wind, and uh, some of those trees went down, some of them didn't, some of them are hanging out there, so any of y'all that have farms and have groves that like to walk, and you like to walk the woods, now be careful, because there's some killers out there hanging up in these trees, and uh, I think some of them dropped in my floor, in my grove last night, from what it sounded like. You're not seeing Tanner because, uh, well, if I want quality time with my sheep, now well, that doesn't really happen when Tanner's around. So he was out this morning. He already jumped in their water tank, got himself all wet, then went and rolled in their hay. And even though he does all that, he still manages to pull my heartstrings and get himself into the house, which. I don't think my dad is watching these YouTube videos, so I think I'm safe. 
but man, if he knew what, what that dog gets into, and then the dog walks into the house, oof, it wouldn't go well. But that'll soon be ending because, well, like I said, I'm buying the farm. They can't complain when I own it, right? And right now, the carpet serves as a great rug. It's all coming up anyways. So, uh, yeah, he can just calm down. But I understand his stress. He's, he, he takes care of stuff, so <laughs> that's why it is, everything here is the way it is, because he's always taking care of the stuff. He doesn't let crazy dogs with sheep poop all over them run through the house. What I'm showing you here is this morning's project before it gets too hot. This is my compost bin that I'm starting to build. And uh, so today's mission, if I choose to take it, which I am, is to get one stupid little air attachment for my air hose. I got the male tees. I've got the female uh, coupler. Uh, no, I don't have a coupler. That's what I need. Sometimes I just don't quite get things right. I thought I had visioned out this stupid hose connection and everything I would need, but apparently I didn't. So, so be it. Quick trip into town on the motorcycle. It's a good excuse. And I'm back in business with an air hose. And I'll check back in and let you know how that, how the compost bin works out. That little green thing over there is a sweeper. I run that behind the mower. It picks up all the grass. I've been mowing down some of the uh, CRP. Oh, no, I, I didn't say that. I'm not mowing down CRP acres. My bad. It's actually lawn that's really close to the CRP acres that I've been mowing for some little paths. And I'm also picking up the grass because I'm trying to start composting. So I got some good compost to throw down in gardens and whatnot. So... I'm gonna wrap up this little video might post it I might try to add on to it as I build this compost bin there's Tanner's pool yeah that's right he's a little freak he likes to run and jump in that pool keeps him cool so I'm I'm okay with that I think I'll just end this video on a little bit of the morning sounds here at soil to soul and I'll just tell you I'm getting real close to having a date for the first concert. I'm going to say right now, the last September and Thursday is what I'm shooting for. And we're going to roll through and have a really fun finale the weekend of Halloween. Isn't it's really crazy? In 2004, I started Music and Mirrors with four shows in September. Well... In 2022, I'm starting to four shows in October. I'm getting myself another month. Uh, I found out at the end of July I was doing four shows in September 2004. Well, I'm basically the end of July and I'm doing four shows in October. And it will be something other than a uh, music series. I got to come up with the name. Something to do with Soil to Soul. Like the Soil to Soul sessions. Kind of like that. You know what? If you guys got any suggestions on a name. Give me a shout out. Throw a comment up. I think I can uh, accept comments. Because one of the things I realize is. When you make it safe for kids. They don't allow comments on YouTube. I get that. Some freaks are out there. Making naughty comments. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Not good for kids to see. So, uh. I guess I'm not going to be making videos for kids because I want people to comment. So, uh, I'm looking for bands. They don't have to be around the Fergus Falls, Alexandria, Fargo area. They can sleep in my house here. So, I'm looking to bring some folks from the city. Some of the guys that I worked with in the beginning of Music and Mirrors. John Munson is one of them. I talk to the man. Love the man. And everybody that encounters him loves him. Why wouldn't I want to work with someone like that? Someone who was there in the beginning of Music and Mirrors when I was a wee lad with some crazy ideas. He was a man that believed in me. And I have never forgotten that, John. I can't wait to bring you up here. You're going to love it. And I hope you bring the other guys, of course. Maybe we do something with the suburbs. New standards would be a welcomed 
uh, addition to the starting series, but you tell me, John. Again, I'm just gonna let you listen to the sounds here at Soil to Soul, and I'm gonna say thank you all for supporting. Uh, like and subscribe, that's right. That's what I'm supposed to say. Pass the word. I hope you see I'm trying to do some good things. And with those good things, I like to give credit. So, make some comments. Give me some band names. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing concerts in the far on the farm. I need bands. I need media. I need bodies. I need sponsors, possibly. But I'm looking to wing this thing on my own. I'm selling a house. I should have some equity. I'm not putting all the money into properties. You gotta invest a little in the dream. Enjoy your moment of silence from soil to soul farm. Have a special day. Be safe all. Love is love, all. Don't forget it. And like I say, don't let the dreams die. <laughs>